Hey guys, thanks for joining me for Wow Me Wednesday. Today I'm gonna to continue my video on camera presentation series, but this also pertains to those of you who are giving introduction presentations in person. So today I'm going to give you tips on how to remember your talking points for an introduction video or presentation if you're talking in front of a live audience. So really this is for any of you who need some presentation help for a quick one minute intro. Uh, if you want some help on creating content for your one minute video, you can go back to my video, my Wow Me Wednesday video from August 9th, which is video number 10 on six tips to create an engaging intro video. So check that out if you want to create the content. Today is specifically on how to remember and practice your talking points. Yesterday I was working with a client who has a business where she has online courses for gifted students and she's working on a one minute long introduction video for her website. And she has a solid script, solid talking points. And we were trying to go over ways of how to for her to help her remember her talking points. So we helped, we worked on her going over the presentation, not worrying about intonations or body language delivery, but just for her to feel comfortable with it and for me to listen to the content. So this jogged my mind about, okay, this is some information that I could share with you all. So first things first, like I did with her, is read it out loud. Once you have it done, read out or say out loud your talking points. Does it sound conversational? You wanna make sure that it sounds like you're talking to an actual person. Is it jargony? Try to cut out all jargon unless your audience is specifically peers of yours who will understand those technical terms. Read it out loud to yourself a few times, then Ask a friend or a family member if you can read it or say it out loud to them to make sure that they understand it and they feel like it's conversational. The second tip I have is to separate out your talking points into chunks. So generally, here's where I'm gonna dive into content a little bit and this might be a place where you wanna take some notes. Generally, you would separate out your one minute video into chunks, your hello, who you are, then you'd go into your why, then what you offer, then an anecdote, and a call to action. So I'll repeat that again. This is a formula that you could use to create your one minute video content. Your hello, your why you do what you do, what you offer, number four, an anecdote, short story, if there's time, and then a call to action. So separate those out into chunks to help you remember. What helps me and some of my clients too is even color coding those chunks. So think about the colors that relate to those chunks and categories. For instance, your hello is, is warm and welcoming. So maybe that's, you highlight that in yellow. Your why is maybe your passion, right? So maybe that chunk is in red. What you offer, could be orange, I don't know why, just because. <laughs> Your anecdote could be blue or purple, a little bit more soft and emotional. And your call to action, I would say, is green. Guess why? Because your call to action could relate to sales, right? To help you make money. So those color coding, that color code can help you remember as you're going through your talking points and your or your script to categorize in your head if you are a visual learner. Another way to help you visualize is to think of an action that goes along with each of those chunks. Your hello could be a wave, your why you do what you do, you could think about um, you know, having a sh your hands up like this and shrugging, why? So you know what I mean, try to visualize something, an action, an object that goes with each of your talking points. Lastly, if you're an auditory learner, record yourself. So at this point, I, I mean, I always recommend recording yourself on video so you can watch and listen to yourself. But in the early stages, if you don't feel comfortable watching yourself yet, totally record just your voice. You could use the Memo app on your iPhone, or I also have an app that I downloaded called Recorder, and it looks like one of those old cassette tapes. 
and just record your voice talking it out with your notes or reading your script out loud so that you can listen to it in your car while you're driving, you listen to it over and over to help you not only just retain the information, the repetition is going to help you be basically a sponge to go over in your head and then repeat out loud. It's like practicing and learning a new language, right? And always, every day, set aside some time to go over your talking points and wean yourself off of your notes. So hopefully these helped with you tonight. Next week, I'm gonna dive in a little bit deeper on some more techniques to help you remember and it's probably some di delivery and body language tips as well. So if you have some recommendations, what do you use to remember your talking points and your scripts? Please leave them in my comments below or shoot me an email at jessica at jessicachangconsulting.com and please leave me your email address on my website at jessicachangconsulting.com so we can keep in touch. Thanks everyone and I'll see you next time.